I'm on vacation every single day cuz I love my occupation hey 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 I'm on vacation if you don't like your life then you should go and change it hey 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 I'm on vacation every single day cuz I love my occupation hey 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 I'm on vacation every single day every every single day Sour like a lemon tree. I'm just smiling down upon my enemies. Do the shit I love it on a daily. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, work's just been crazy. Outside of work's been crazy. I'm gonna try to get back on to uh, making videos. We're out here today. It's just uh, doing some shop work. It's raining, so we can't get out and cut. Uh, working on our plows. Um, I'm doing oil changes in the mowers, I'm going to wash the mowers, and this will probably be our 2018 lawn care setup. I know it's the end of the year, but give you an idea of what we have and um, what we worked with this year. Stay tuned. Take your oil filter off. I just take a plastic bottle, cut it in half. That way it's not dripping oil all over the unit. Slide it back in here. That's just so when you take it off, it's not leaking everywhere and you can drop that filter right down into the uh, container and make less of a mess. Now these are going to get washed, obviously. So. So these uh, the standards are a little harder with the oil changes. It's a little tighter, but once you figure out how to do it, it tends to be pretty easy. Then once everything's drained, you're gonna stick your drain plug back in. Got my little container. I'm gonna put the uh, filter back in and just have that there so it doesn't make as much of a mess on the machine. Like I said, they're gonna be cleaned off anyway. Then you fill the right the proper level of oil let it run for about five ten minutes check the oil again nothing to it guys all right catch you later Talk to you.
there. Second nature. Jim's got kitty son. <laughs> Not to keep saying that so it doesn't happen. You think grumpy lately? What week are you on for? No smoking? One thing, one week. Woo! Woo wee! He went, out, he went without the patch the one day. <laughs> he like melted out of his chair. <laughs> I'm still working on the same weed whacker. Bullshit. <laughs> Alright guys. Oh, Alright guys. Finally, 2018 uh, mowing setup. As we're about to get into leaves. <laughs> Got some of that action for you too. So, for starters, you guys have seen most of them, but I'll give you the rundown. This is a 2018 right stander eye with the Kawasaki FX600V 19 horsepower. We love this machine. It gets in every gate. Um, our smaller properties we use it on all the time. Um, nothing bad to say about this little unit. Makes life a lot easier. Um, no issues. She has say he his name's Carlos. 59 hours. Jim looks really funny on this one because he's so tall. <laughs> Next we have our uh, 2017 Xmark X series. Um, I I love this mower. Um, it's kept in the fleet because uh, we actually have the. Uh, bagger you know like right over here that's mounted on there um, so we needed the bagging capability um, just had an issue with the engine uh, blew a rod through the block which Kohler uh, was good on sending us the block for that uh, we had to pay labor uh, 34 horse commander uh, Kohler commander pro um, just absolutely a beast of a mower uh, Got the OCDC pedal on there, which we take off um, when we have to put the bagger on. It takes roughly about five, five to ten minutes. Not bad at all. Um, then we move on to our 2018 Wright Standard ZK61 with the Vanguard 37 EFI. Um, nothing, nothing to say about this mower. It goes through wet grass, it goes through dry grass, it goes through tall grass, thick grass, 
Um, I love it. Love the platform. Um, the only thing that really I could say bad about um, both units, uh, the 72 as well, uh, the pan to get to the blade or to get to the spindles and stuff, that's tricky at some points. And we still have yet to find a way that you can change the blades without, you know, somebody holding a wrench on top. So, and they're heavy. Uh, the jungle jack takes two of us. One guy has to use the jungle jack. The other guy has to uh, lift up on the uh, front wheel caster to lift it up. So, it's a heavy machine. Uh, nothing bad about it. I love it to death. And then over to the big boy. This is our 2018. Right standard ZK72. Um, this thing has been a monster. Um, cutting hills uh, that never could get another mower on. Um, just the cut quality for 72 inch deck is by far the best uh, I've ever used. Um, you get the wide stands with the dual tires. Um, great machine recommend it to anybody if you have bigger commercial properties like we do and um, you need to get a lot of grass cut quick so that these four are what are in the trailer all the time um, as of this year um, then we do have our we believe it's a 2003 um, X mark navigator 48 nothing nothing bad to say about this uh, I ran Walker for many years and um, still you know I still prefer Walker over an X mark but this thing still does the job that it's supposed to do and then we, we rarely rarely ever use this um, this is our 2048 inch walk behind that uh, you know if need be if something goes down we have as a backup mower so, um, we have a bagging system for that as well. And, uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the mowers for 2018. Give me, take you outside and give you a shot of the truck trailer and the inside of that. Uh, back out here, here's our trailer set up. This is a 2016 cross trailer, 24 footer. Um, haul four mowers in there, uh, all the ones you saw prior. Uh, we pull with a uh, 2008 GMC 3500 um, Duramax diesel. Uh, it's got a tune. It's got bags. Um, there's nothing nothing bad to say about this truck. We just got brand new tires. We had the rims on before. Um, absolutely love it. We keep our bins in the back for debris if we need to. Let's take you inside the trailer, show you what we got going on. Sorry, somebody's riding a motorcycle next door. All right, so here we go inside the trailer. We have our, we just mounted the, this year, um, 30 gallon pump handle uh, gas tank for our fuel cell for um, getting through the week without having to stop for gas twice. We also have three five gallon cans up there that we have just in case uh, we get pretty close with the 30 but there's those weeks where we either have to double cut something more or um, you know we just need extra fuel for something else over here we have our uh, weed whackers we like to run um, echo I tried to still this year wasn't a big fan so I mean it's it's people's preferences when it comes to this kind of stuff but uh, we have two brand new 2620Ts we just got about a month ago. We have an older one here from last year and another one in the shop as a backup. Uh, our brake apart, our brake shaft is a 2225 I believe. I might be wrong on that. But we have the brush head for that and we have the um, trimmer, uh, the hedge trimmer and the uh, metal edger for that. We like to keep our gas, our mixed gas can at the back of the trailer for filling up quick. Um, it's all preference when it comes to this stuff. Uh, we keep our weed rocker line right here. We have some black diamond and we've been running this CF3 Pro. Uh, we love it. Uh, it's been strong and can't complain. 
Down here we have our Echo MS-402 backpack sprayer. Um, nothing horrible or bad to say about that either. If you go right above that, we have our shelving for our uh, rigid impact. Love it. Um, we're also in the near future going to be getting a uh, rigid uh, air compressor ran off a of battery too, which will be nice. Keep our oil, our sockets. Right next to that, we have our oil rag and X mark belts. The vac belt and the deck belt will. We don't have right belts yet, but we will be getting them in the future. Over here, we have our hand tools, our two scoop shovels, our broom, our leaf rake, our hard rake, and our pitchfork. Down here, we keep our cones, our blowers. We run, um, these are two years old, I believe, BP770Ts. Looking to upgrade to the new 8010s at some point, so I'm waiting for that to come out. We like to keep two buckets, one for trash and one for, you know, going to the bathroom if you need to, taking a pee on the fly with the enclosed. You can kind of seclude yourself in here and be able to get away with it. Um, down here we have our metal edger blades. We use the heat treated ones. Um, here's our. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's our 30 inch uh, Toro Time Saver, I believe it is. Uh, we used it a lot last year and the year before, but now with the 36 uh, standard eye, we really don't pull that out much. As you can tell up here, my gas tanks um, there's another mix if you can see back there that's our air compressor tank we have at the moment now right in front of that this is where we keep our uh, fresh sharp blades um, bags for the um, X mark bagger right there we have a hand blower our tool set and up top we have a jack for the trailer if it ever you know has a flat the spare tires right there uh, I keep my roundup up top and then we have our jungle jack which comes in super handy love this thing um, mounted up top here out of the way um, our setup uh, I mean I love it I, this is the, probably the nicest setup I've ever had in mowing and I've been mowing for 15 years um, just love it. Um, our boss is very in tune with us and when it comes to figuring out the right tools or equipment we need, uh, we just get together, talk about it, demo it, try it, see what it's all about, if it's worth having or if it's not worth having. Um, so, Alright guys, that is uh, our 2018 lawn care setup. We're coming to the end of the season so we'll start you know the navigator you'll see in the trailer and the X mark with the bagger more more than anything else in the next coming week. All right, guys. So I wanted to give you a quick idea of how I load everything in this trailer. Got Carlos tucked under the shelving up there next to the 30 push mower. You got the X mark right behind that. Then you have the dually right over the wheels uh, or the axles of the trailer. And then you have my 60 ZK on the back end. Um, it works out nice. No, feels like the weight's easily, evenly dis distributed throughout the whole trailer. Can't complain. I love this setup. Big shout out to my boss for making it all happen. And, and, uh, seeing what we needed as a crew to get you know the amount of accounts and the size accounts done that we do have so all right guys you have a good day please like comment and subscribe any questions don't mind uh asking away have a good one